How low can Bitcoin go? This is a question that a lot of people are making, mainly because if you compare Bitcoin to Ethereum, Ethereum seemed to have rallied up and stayed at the upper part of the uh, green candle that it did a few days ago. But that does not apply for Bitcoin. Bitcoin got all the way to all time highs and now it corrected and is hovering around the high $60,000. So analysts and traders, they're kind of on the edge to understand where is Bitcoin going to go, if it's going to go down and uh, correct and traders should wait for a new bottom to long or just short right away. Uh, there's a lot of speculation on where Bitcoin is going to go. So today we're going to be looking at a few uh, ideas or a few speculations on where Bitcoin is going to go in the near future. So stay tuned. The whole volatility that happened in the markets last week, they're mainly due to the ETFs. We covered this in another video. So the ETF is Ethereum related. So it is bullish for Ethereum, but maybe not so much for uh, Bitcoin itself. So Bitcoin moved, it had an uptrend, um, it got all the way to the all time high, it fell down a little bit, and now it is just hovering. So what is it going to do? Well, today we're going to be taking a look at a few analysis from different traders, from different experts, and we're going to see what they think Bitcoin is going to do next and how you can profit from these analysis if you believe they are correct. So Bitcoin is now at $69,000 and you can see that it went all the way up to the 72,000 and then it corrected going all the way almost to $66,000 again. So in the previous video that we did uh, covering and analyzing Bitcoin, I told you that it got all the way to the top of the box that I drew here, that the red box and now it was either gonna stay on top of this blue channel which was a support or it was gonna go back inside the channel which is what it did so it went inside the channel and it stayed inside the um, half of the channel so now we're gonna wait to see if it's gonna break above the channel again or if it's gonna continue uh, inside it so I'm not the only one that thinks this way so mags which is a an analyst he also thinks this way Bitcoin faced some resistances at the high range so the 72k uh range and now he believes that we will see some consolidation in the mid range so around the 65k for another leg up so he sees the bottom of this range around the 61,000 and the 65 to 66,000 this is the range where he believes bitcoin is going to be consolidating so if you look at the charts right here it would be right around this area right here between the 65 around the 65,000 so let's actually make that white i think that's better for you to visualize so this would be pretty much what mags sees for bitcoin so in his opinion it will go all the way back or close to the 65 to test it and this will be the new bottom for bitcoin to then rally up again i'm not here to say this is right or wrong we're just looking at different analysis for bitcoin again um i i personally do not believe that it's going to go all the way to the 65,000, but maybe to around 67,000, somewhere around this right here 67 and a half 67 i think it's going to go there and then go back up um, in the near future another analyst called george he believes that the bottom is going to be around the 60,000. so right here at this line he believes that this is where the bottom will be so somewhere across this place right here around the bottom here where bitcoin was on may 24th so I kind of disagree with this one. It would have to break a lot of small resistances, but resistances nonetheless uh, before it can go all the way to the 60K. So unless there's very, very bearish news for Bitcoin, I don't think it will go all the way to that price or so around 60K. I don't see it at all. I'm most convinced that it will stay above the 65K because it has so many things to break before. It has this one right here and then you would see this one right here and then uh, somewhere around here you would also find a resistance. So you see there's one, two, three uh, resistances that it has to break in order to follow uh, below that price. And uh, these two are very, very small. This one is a more significant one because tested here a couple of times, here again, here again. So uh, this one is a little bit stronger. Uh, this is the one Max was referring to. But again, I don't see Bitcoin going below these two right here, maybe below this one, which is just the average for uh, the, the channel. But you see that the average itself, it got tested and it held pretty decent uh, on, around here and around here again. So it is indeed somewhat strong of a uh, resistance. And last but not least, we have uh, Rack Capital. Rack Capital actually is the one out of these three where I kind of fit the most with my analysis. So I'm, I don't copy other people's analysis, but you can see that you will always find someone where you relate 
to a little bit more. So you think his or hers uh, technical analysis, they make more sense than the others. Again, there is no technical analysis that is better than the other because it is just a speculation game. If someone had the perfect technical analysis, he wouldn't share that with the world uh, and he would be a trillionaire by now. So that being said, Rect Capital, he believes that we are inside a range, just like I believe as well. If you look right here, I believe we are inside this channel right here, this range between 61, 61 and a half to 72, 72 and a half. I believe we are inside this range right here. Of course, there are a few breakouts here at the bottom and a few at the top, but overall we are staying inside this range. And I do believe like him that we are staying inside this. And he believes that we will see uh, Bitcoin going up and down, testing supports and resistances throughout the months for the following months. So before this green area right here, which is usually when Bitcoin starts to picking up some steam, which is six months after the halving. So this is usually where we enter this green uh, area right here, according to all the other halvings that happened. So around 161 days, and you can see that we're still not even a third of the way there. And we're going to stay inside this range right here. This was in 2016, which is the one that reflects almost the same what we had so far for the halving. And now or for the 2024, we are going to be staying inside this range before the green part, which is where Bitcoin is going to uh, pump. So I personally do agree with this one. And this one has a range similar to what I drew for you in my charts right here, which is uh, between 61, 61 and a half all the way to 72 and a half. So I personally feel the same way as Rect Capital is for Bitcoin. Again, it is not bearish, but it just means that we're going to have a sideways market for a little while. So for a few months, maybe for a few weeks, uh, we're going to have a sideways market for Bitcoin, which is still a very decent range because if you go from bottom to the top, you can see that it is almost 20%. So Bitcoin inside this range of almost 20%, what can you do to profit throughout this uh, range? So throughout this um, sideways market, sideways period of 160 days, I don't know if it's going to stay that long, but at least from what we saw on previous halvings, this is what we're looking um, mostly uh, to see throughout these next months. So how do you profit from a Bitcoin inside a range? So here we have a couple of strategies. The first one that I can say is, for example, when Bitcoin reaches the top of the uh, range, for example, you open call credit spreads right here, meaning that call credit spreads are bearish. So you believe Bitcoin will stay below this range right here. And when the opposite, when Bitcoin reaches the bottom here, you sell put credit spreads, meaning that you believe Bitcoin is going to go down and then up back again, staying inside the range. Or if you don't want to sell these credit spreads, so what you can do, you can use vanilla options. So if it reaches the bottom, you buy a call at that strike. So with Bitcoin trading around the uh, 61,000, Bitcoin touches the 61,000 and you see that it's going to go above. So you see that it shows any patterns of bullishness, like testing multiple times the support and then showing a bullish uh, pattern. You can buy a call at this strike right here. So at the money. So if Bitcoin is at 61,000, you buy a 61,000 or 60,000, whatever it is, call. And this call, you make it expire in a week or in two weeks, if you believe that it will be enough time for Bitcoin to go back up to the mid 60s or high 60s, whatever you believe, you can do that strategy. And the opposite applies for the top part. Um, you will be bearish if you believe it's going to test multiple times the top range here and then go back to the bottom. You do the same thing. You buy an at the money put and you make it expire in a couple of weeks. So uh, somewhere around uh, August 5th or maybe somewhere around mid August. So you choose somewhere uh, a few weeks or uh, maybe a month out for you to have time to uh, wait out Bitcoin. So it goes uh, in your favor. So how do you do these strategies? Well, it's simple enough. You have to go here to the topics. Here we're going to start with the spreads. So you go somewhere to June or July, wherever you believe um, is enough time for you to have the strategy right. So for June, you see we only have two options to choose from. So we go for July. This way we have a lot of uh, time in our hands. And here you can see we have the bottom half for the 60K. So if you believe Bitcoin will stay above the 60K, you can open this right here. Of course, right now we are on Bitcoin at around 69. So with Bitcoin is $69,000, our return is not as good as it would be if Bitcoin was at 62, 61,000. Here would be closer to the 100% return uh, maximum profit. So because Bitcoin right now is at 69, um, the risk is medium. So you will make 20%, but you could make a lot more if Bitcoin was trading closer to the strike price here. So if we go actually to the below 70K, let's see if we have below 70K here. 
uh, we don't have below 70k, but we do have below 68,000 uh, right here, which in our case, Bitcoin is at 69. So below 68 is a little bit risky, but you can see that if it goes in our favor, we would be making 54% out of this position. So let's say you put here $1,000, you would make 540 on top of the 1,000 that you deposit as collateral. And you can see that if you go to the 65, you get even riskier, you will make almost 70%. But again, I would like to see a $70,000 here that would be a little bit better for us to have both sides of the range. So the top range and the bottom range, uh, I think that will make a lot of more sense for uh, people who want to trade the strategy that I just told you about. And if you wanna go with the options instead, you can go right here on the options tab, select Bitcoin, and you can go for these expirations that we have right now. So we're saying around the month out, so you can do June 28th, or you can do July a little bit, uh, but June 28th, you should be able to have plenty of time for Bitcoin to stay above the price that you choose. So if Bitcoin was closer to the 71, 72, it would be top of the range. So what we could do, we could actually buy a put at around $70,000, and here we would put the amount that we would like to buy. So. 1.1 and we will be paying 557 bucks to open this position and the break even now is very very far out it is a 64,000 but it is because bitcoin is a 69 now and we have a lot of time so expiration factored with the spread that most likely is a little bit um high right now a lot of these factors they can affect why the break even is so so far ahead so what you can do here is you can uh, keep looking, uh, refreshing to make sure uh, you find the better entry for you with a closer break even. So this way you have higher odds to profit. So this is what analysts and experts believe the market will do in the following weeks or months. So what do you think? Do you agree with these? Do you have other uh, analysts that you would like me to cover that maybe have a whole nother understanding of the market? If so, comment down below. Or if you have any opinions on what the market's going to do, if you are actually uh, protecting yourself or just trading, speculating on top of where Bitcoin will be. So comment down below. Let's trade some ideas here uh, in the comments. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.